If you want to make sure LLMs and AI like ChatGPT, Perplexity or Cloud understand your website, you should add LLMs.txt file on it. In this quick video, I'll show you how to get it done on Webflow. Really quick, what's LLMs.txt file? It's just a proposal at the moment proposed by Jeremy Howard, which consists of a file that tells exactly AI what your pages are about. It's really hard for AI to crawl your website because there are a lot of JavaScript, HTML noise and all, pop-ups, different layout. And so with this file, you are able to say, okay, this URL is this page and it talks about this topic. So you should find the right information in this URL. First, you've got to generate your own LLMs.txt file. You can use a platform like firecrawl.dev to do that, which is pretty great. You just have to enter your website URL and then click on generate. You will have here your LLMs.txt file. If you want something that is more complete, you just have to sign in on Firecrawl, which is free, and enter your API key. Just here, a quick example of a really great LLMs.txt file so you can be inspired for your own. It's from Stripe. As you can see, they are already using it for their docs, so it's easier for AI to query their docs and uh, make better answers for the users. So if you have any questions, just check it out and uh, ask ChatGPT, for example, to do the same for your website. At this point, you should have the content of your LLMs.txt file. You should be careful, it has to be a .txt file. If you need any help with that, you can use a .txt file generator online like this one and copy paste your text. Or on Mac, you can use text edit, new file, copy it and just save it with the name llms.txt. You can then go to your Webflow project and just open the asset section. Here, you have to upload your llms.txt file just like that and it will appear in your assets. You can copy the link here because we'll need it later. Once you have imported the LLMs.txt file, just publish your website to make sure it's accessible. Once it's published, just type the link you just paste. And as you can see, my LLMs.txt is here. But it's not on uh, mydomain.com LLMs.txt as it should be. So that's why we are going to set up a redirect on Webflow. So to do that, it's really simple. You just have to go to the site settings, go to the publishing tab, and then create a redirection. So the old path is llms.txt. And you just have to paste the link you have for your own llms.txt file. You add the redirect and publish the website. And so we are just going to test it. So here is my website. And if I put here LLMs.txt, I have my LLMs.txt file, which is on my Webflow. It would be exactly the same for a Shopify or a WordPress and even easier because you have more options with WordPress and Shopify to set up redirection. So you just have to upload your LLMs.txt file in your assets and create a redirection as simple as that. And to conclude with LLMs.txt, you can, if you want, put yours on a specific directory like this one. It will make your LLMs.txt file public and it could be a better way for AI agent to crawl it but that's not so sure right now. So the best thing about it is also to be able to look at over LLMs.txt and you know, have just more information about how it works and what are the best practice. That's all for today. So if you need anything with this kind of setup, just ask in the comment and we've got a complete guide about how to uh, put LLMs.txt file on your website in the link below. Moreover, don't forget that LLMs.txt file is still pretty new. It's not standard yet. So it's just making your website AI ready. So be aware of that. And don't forget to use the classic SEO techniques like schema markup, which is really, really important for, for AI with FAQ page, a blog post and all. Uh, that would be uh, the best thing to do today uh, in order to be mentioned by LLMs. 
we also have a video on it so don't hesitate to check it out guys see you